In this video we're going to learn how to do the chain linked diamond stitch pattern. And you use two colors and in my sample I'm using medium worsted weight yarn. I'm also going to use a size I or five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And of course if you want to make it a bulky project use a bigger hook and if you're going to use lighter weight yarn use a smaller hook. Um, in this case my square comes out six inches. So um, grab your crochet hook, grab two colors of yarn, and let's get started. Okay, with color A, we are going to make a chain, the multiple of three plus one. In my sample, I chain 25. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and chain 25. Um, I happen to make mine so I count the slip knot as a chain. If you pull it tight, don't count it as a chain. So that was one, two. Okay, I've chained my 25. And now I'm going to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So you count one, two, three, four, five. And I want to go into the loop on the back of the chain to give it a finished edge. Now we're going to skip two chains and double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next one. So skip two, since I'm going to do the bumps on the back, I'm going to count bumps. One, two, and then in the next one, do double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Just like so. And just do this all the way across, uh, across the row. So you skip two, go in the next one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Do that all the way to the end and I will see you there. Okay, we should have two chains left at the end and what we're going to skip one chain and double crochet in the last chain. Now since I'm using my slip knot as a chain, I'm going to go into that little twist. See the twist on the end here? That's where I'm going to put my stitch can loosen it up to get in there and tighten it later. And then I can just pull this tight. There we go. So that is row one. Now what we're going to do is take our hook out and put a stitch holder in or you can use a safety pin or a paper clip just something so that loop doesn't pull out and we're not going to turn but we're going to tug on this so that this is lays even and doesn't curl you just tug on it it's because the, the way we put our stitches in the chain is what makes it curl all right and we're going to go down to this end here we're going to take color b in my case it's green and we're going to join it into the chain five space at the end, which is where we when it, it's actually chain four space. We double crocheted in the fifth. So we're going to go into that chain and draw up a loop. And then we're going to chain two and make a half double crochet in that same space. For the first one, I'm going to go over the tail just to help keep it secure. And pull it a little bit and then push it behind the work out of the way. Okay, now we're going to chain one and make two half double crochet in the next V stitch. So that chain right there in the V, we're going to skip these two double crochet and go right in here and make two half double crochet. Chain one, go 
into the next chain space or V stitch. And make two half double crochet. And do that all the way to the last V stitch and I'll pick it up down there. My way all the way down and I work two in the last V stitch and all I'm going to do is pull the loop up a little bit. Take another stitch holder. These stitch holders that I use are um, by Clover. You can find them almost anywhere. They're real easy to find if you go online. Okay, so there we go. And now for row three, we're going to pick up the, the first color after we turn our work. We're going to turn our work. Put the green, our color B, to the ward the back and out of the way. Just, I'm holding it down with my middle finger. And then we're picking up color A, or white in this case. Pull the loop snug around my hook. Now, we are going to chain three. One, two. It'd be easier if I got rid of this here for now. There we go. One, two, three. And now we're going to work over color B and into color A in the row below. And we're going to do a long double crochet V stitch. And the reason it's called long is because we got to make the bottom of our stitch long. So you're going to yarn over and then you go into this space that's between the two V stitches. All the way down here. Then you come up behind and over the green and grab it and pull it up. You pull this first loop up so that when you hold your hook horizontally it's just above those green stitches of the previous row and then yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two, just like any other double uh, double crochet. Then we're going to chain one because and we're going to go back in that same space and do the same thing. Insert, draw the loop up, make it even with the row below it, and finish your double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across. So you want to skip this hole and go into this one. Insert, draw up a long loop, and double crochet. Chain one. So I call these V-stitches, but these are actually long double crochet V-stitches. And uh, we're going to do that all the way across and then I will meet you down at the other end. Okay, I've done this all the way across and we have one V-stitch and then this double crochet and a chain stitch next to it left. So we're going to make one more long double crochet V-stitch into that space there. So when the directions say into the last space after the last V stitch. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And now we're going to make a long double crochet in the chain four space. And this is the chain four space down here where we joined the green. So we're going to go right next to where we joined the green and insert it to hook. And we need to make this long. So we pull that up to be even with the other stitches and finish our double crochet. So that's our row two. And you can see the diamonds starting to form. Like for the, like when you see a chain link fence. That's why it's called chain linked diamonds. Okay, then you drop this loop, secure it with a stitch marker or some sort of thing, or chain one and draw up a long loop. And then we're not going to turn, we're going to go back down to this end. So pick up color B. I'm going to take the stitch holder out. 
three. And then I'm going to turn it back around again. All right. So there'll be a white chain in front or your color A in front and color B in back. Do half double crochet, chain one in each V stitch across the row. So one. So we skip this whole loop right here. Go right into the V stitch. Two do half double crochet and chain one. Two half double crochet, chain one. Back up just a little bit here. Two half double crochet, chain one. Do that across your row and I'll meet you at the other end. It's going to look kind of funky on this edge. It's okay. It'll straighten out in the next row. Okay, I just worked across row four and I ended with two half double crochet chain one in the last V stitch and then I put my stitch holder on here and now I am going to put my hook in this loop, remove the stitch marker and we're going to work on row five. Row five says pick up color A and chain four. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to turn. It tells you to turn first. And the main reason it tells you to turn first is because this loop here has to be on the back when you work the next row. So I'm going to just make sure that's back here. Um, it's important because when you do the next row, you want to have this loop in, in the right position. Okay. Now, we're going to long double crochet in the space below between double crochet and V stitch. And that is right here. This is the double crochet and this is the V stitch. And that's the hole right there. Right above the green there. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook, draw up the longer loop so that it lines up. Draw through two, draw through two. So that's your long double crochet. And now we're going to V-stitch across the same way we did in row three. So we go into this loop down here, draw up your long loop, and make a V-stitch. And I'm going to do this across the row and I will meet you at the other end. All right, I've worked my V-stitches across the row. For row five and now we're coming to this end here that's kind of goofy looking and what we're going to do for that is we're going to put the last V stitch over the color B chain three and into the color A chain three so yarn over insert the hook this is color B chain three and color A chain three we'll go through both of them draw up a long loop and then do finish your double crochet and chain one. Go back in the same space, drop your long loop, and double crochet. And that's what it should look like. And then from the other side, it'll look like that. So it evens it out. All right. Now what we're going to do is drop color A which means get your stitch holder and put it in there. Now we're going to work on row six. We're going to row six we're going to start a little differently than we have before. We're going to go ahead, this loops behind here, insert our hook here, so remove the stitch holder, and then with your hook inserted, slip that loop onto your hook and pull it through to the front, just like that. And now we're going to repeat row two at the diamond. 
row two at the diamond is chain two. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to half double crochet in that same space. So we're going to go in here like this. Just like so. And then we're going to chain one and make two half double crochet in the next V stitch all the way across. So chain one, two half double crochet. Chain one, one, two, chain one. Do that all the way across and I'll see you at the other end. Seven, um, and on we repeat rows three to six over and over again um, until you get it the length you want. For me, I've repeated it until I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of green and eight rows of white to make the six inch square. So you continue. Um, and you just go back to row three and uh, follow along. And uh, let me know what colors you used. I used green because of St. Patrick's Day will be in March. Red would be pretty, make it like for Valentine's Day. Um, I've seen it in blue. So uh, yeah, tell me what you're going to do. I've also seen people use scraps. For the color that's um, color B and uh, make it all different colors of stripes behind the the diamond chain link the so happy crocheting and see you in the next video